I am a psychiatrist and I'm also a clairvoyant. And to many people, this is often considered to be an oxymoron or two terms that are rarely, if ever, put together. Unfortunately, traditional psychiatry views anything clairvoyant or psychic as either a sign of mental disorder, a symptom of schizophrenia, a symptom of manic depressive disorder, or else alternatively is considered a sham. So there is no real middle ground with which to talk about psychic experiences in a sane, grounded, rational, empowering way. My hope is that I can be a bridge between these two worlds, between traditional psychiatry and clairvoyance, to make sure that both of these worlds can come together as is their natural birthright. Now, what is a clairvoyant? What is a psychic? What is second sight? Clairvoyance means being able to psychically pick up information at a distance while it is actually happening, whereas psychic is really an overall more inclusive word that includes various experiences such as precognition, telepathy, dream, psychokinesis. Now, what is precognition? Precognition is the ability to sense or dream or know about something before it actually happens and to have that knowledge and to know it without a doubt. Now, what is telepathy? Telepathy is a term used to illustrate mind-to-mind communication where we can actually be with another person and sense and know their thoughts, that this is a natural ability that we all have. Psychic abilities of all kinds is our natural birthright, something that we all have a right to claim, telepathy being one of them. It is not a far-fetched concept. It is part of our humanness. We're just not taught that we can develop this. And children are just not taught that they are telepathic, that they are precognitive, early, early on. 